why do my nails look like this and by like this i mean with little white spots well they've been bending due to the weather they have bruised i guess it's what i would call them so they have bruised as they bent and this one actually broke right there i'm wondering if you guys can still do this one but that's i'll get that to that in a minute and this one i'm also going to clean up and patch as well this side here just bent over that's why that looks like that so that's gonna be patched up this one is also going to be patched up because if you look there that actually broke and this is crazy glue i'm trying to reinforce it so um and uh, that one I'm just going to clean up. And this one I am going to repair. So you can fast forward to, I'll put annotations here to where you don't need to look at this because some people might not want to. But I'm going to get ready to fix this nail right here, right now. So this is what happened. It broke. And here is the other piece. This glue that I got at Sally Beauty Supply. I have used it so much to the point where I've had to cut this. And it's been leaking from me having it upside down. But the glue here. sort of fix that are these silk wraps that I got from Sally Beauty Supply this brush on crazy glue that I got at Rite Aid with an awesome handy brush And also from Sally Beauty Supply, a buffer, nail file buffer. But I'm thinking I might do this one now. So you're gonna wanna cut this up to fit the nail and I do the whole nail because that's what works for me and you want to grab a better better pair of scissors than these so at this point this is my method of doing it and what I do is all of the dead layers here I want to get rid of those and prepare them for the patch so gently you want to file the dead layers of nail and then I take um, pure rub and alcohol and just clean the area this does two things it gets rid of the dust and the dead nail and it also gets rid of any oils that could be on the nail and I wipe it off with a lint-free brush, lint-free um, cotton pad gently. And now the patch is ready. you guys are getting this okay <clears throat> yeah that's not gonna work very well so we're gonna leave that like that for now 
and this is when I apply the crazy glue with a little bit of force. I figured I would show you guys on this nail because the angle's better and the lighting works out, I hope. Again, here I am trying to get rid of the dead layers, if you will, as much as possible. Not too much, but just enough for the patch that I'm going to be putting on to stick. Ideally, you would want to do all of this at the same time and wash your hands. But this is the method that I'm doing and this is the method that I like. Please do this in a well ventilated area. Crazy glue is very stinky and it will irritate your eyes. Okay, so what I do next is just file this off. And if you have a fairly new file, it will work fairly quickly. Then you're going to want to do the sides. Make sure nothing's lifting. to the sides. Doesn't that look awesome? Whoops. Well, look at that repaired nail. with the pink side which is the ridge remover I just want to lightly and gently go over the ridges
so here are my hands washed and extremely dry unmoisturized there are the final patches that was just to reinforce my thumb because that's the first thing to break there's the other reinforced thumb my other fingers and the middle finger was the one that was patched up Now the very last step that I like to do, and this is just because I'm a klutz, is put glue in the back where it's broken. So right there, just to give it a little extra reinforcement, obviously around here, here, and that very corner that if I do it you guys may not see it so this is an awkward angle and I just wait about five minutes or so for this to dry not do anything and then you will be good to go at least I will be good to go for maybe about five days and then once it starts to lift I don't want to change the whole thing I'll take that little glue that I showed you guys in the bill and I just put it right there and it seals it up again so you put a drop there and then you want to press down on it because the pressure is going to distribute the glue so I'll do it with this finger so you guys can see you want to put the glue here maybe just about a drop because it just runs throughout the nail bed um the cuticle area and then you just press it down and hold it down for it to dry so now i am good to go to um well first of all moisture well i can put some top coat now and actually i do put top coat even on these put top coat do my mani and then moisturize a lot I don't know what I'm gonna do about the sprues where that bends maybe I'll let that be and let it just grow out and then once it comes time for me to start handling luggage and stuff I'll probably just put a patch on it Wow, well, you guys if you watch this whole thing thank you so very much um, leave any other requests, comments, questions in the bar and down and I'll try to answer it. And I'll try to dissect this video in the information section. So you guys, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, you won't have to. But this was a much requested video. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.